You see, I have seen many different types of UFOs over the many years and I have done a lot of course moving around the planet and I have visited many people and I have had also some very very interesting communications with beautiful people that live in the forest. So we, we, when we ask did the United States of America know or are they involved? Yes, of course. We know also that there was some major involvement with extraterrestrials in Africa. We know that there was also involvement and knowledge about UFOs in England. And, you know, what can I say when I have so many times warned them for 12, uh, 19, uh, the 19, uh, was it 44, 45, we saw UFOs, especially when the bombers came over and uh, flew over in the sky and we suddenly saw UFOs appearing in the sky. So that already goes back during the time of World War II, saying they were not there, as I said before, in the paintings, ancient paintings, 1100, 1200, 1300, 1400, there you see the UFOs that were painted in by the painters of that day. So what are we going to do? Keep on denying? But we must be prepared. Yes, there are very good ones. The Eterians, that man, these very, very large spaceships. And then we have those. Oh, everything has a yin and a yang, a dark and a light. And what can I say? We want to attract the light ones. I want to urge you to attract the light ones all to come down to planet Earth because they are concerned about all this stuff, the war in Iraq and the, the, the playing of games of world government. And as I have said that, and I will say it again, yes, the powers that be, the, the power-hungry ones that are out there, and maybe some of them are uh, travelers from out of space that run in these governments that do some controlling, no doubt about it, that do some, uh, shall we say, uh, fist on, not hand on, but fist on control of the masses and manipulating uh, the economy and uh, manipulating other things. Don't forget, in ancient time they came here and they excavated bronze and copper and silver and, and gold out of our Mother Earth's bowels and now they're sucking out so much oil that it is destroying your planet into a wobble and 
also if you make something and you take stuff out constantly, it becomes lighter and it raises up into the universe. And my friends who do come in the UFOs, thousands and thousands and thousands of people in Switzerland have seen them. We have seen so many, and yet it is always said it's not true due to imaginations. Well, when you can touch it, stand beside it, it's not imagination, and many of you in Texas, you could see it, you have it in your pictures, and you also did see that the Air Force were chasing them. Were they the good ones? I think so. And with that, well, I hope that we gave you enough thrill today to think about. There are those that are especially very involved with the government of the United States of America. There's no doubt about it. And most likely, as I did hear from many of my darling friends, that uh, China and India and uh, of course the uh, Kashmir area, they have tremendous amount of activity and I wouldn't be surprised if there was also interaction and, and, uh, and knowledge of uh, those that live in Tibet. But you need to understand that there are good ones, really good ones, and then there are those that are not so good, and there are those that are so kind and good, and they're very concerned about your planet. And that's, that's another thing, that's another story. Many, many times I have spoken about the coming of the UFOs. And uh, also I have told many people to not go into terrible states of fear. Because fear is very, very unhealthy. What's at issue here is the entire history of civilization. It may not have gone in a straight line from stupid old cavemen to smart old us with our hydrogen bombs and our striped toothpaste. The UFOs that have uh, come have stirred up a lot of interest again, but this time I don't think that the Air Force and uh, governments can continue to hide this as, as we have known already from the 1200s, the Catholic Church tried to hide it, yet the UFOs are in their paintings. If you go into many of these little churches around in valleys and places in Spain and in Italy and in France. In the background, all these paintings there are UFOs and UFOs that were described as well as that you did see in the state of Texas. Now, one of you asked me where they came from. 
and I say again that uh, many of these UFOs do good ones. Of course, there are also that come from places that are not so favorable, but the very good ones are very, very large, and they come from a place called Eurasia. And Eurasia is a place that when everything in the universe is, is shifting and moving and, you know, getting back into place as everything moves by and, and, and leaves, everything is in motion. And uh, then we see that it is easier and as I have told, it would become much easier to have much more UFO traffic on planet Earth, on Mother Earth, from all the beings that are there. And I wouldn't be afraid, I wouldn't go in hysterics. And for the Air Force to chase them, wouldn't that be a flea chasing an elephant or a mouse chasing an elephant? How ridiculous when the enormous amount of technology and wisdom and most likely spiritually evolved beings to go and chase them with, with a with a little airplane, you know, I would, I would think again. I would come to peace, and and would uh, prepare and celebrate contact and communication with all people. No one is lonely. All people have good souls, pure souls, and are capable of communicating. And maybe they communicate telepathically with you. And as I have said so many, many, many times, yes, they have been coming and going from planet Earth. So whispered once when they said the gods, <laughs> and of course you have to realize that many of the little people on the earth could have seen them as gods, could also have described them as these gods that landed in Mexico, as these gods that landed in Japan, as the gods that landed in India, because maybe in our thinking anything that comes from deep in the sky is a god, and for religion, yeah, it may have shaken them up, and especially the Roman Catholic Church that always told people we're the only ones in the universe that are inhabited. But I know that they knew better than that. It's time for us to practice knowing better also and be empowered. Don't give away your power. Be loved and love one another and start to take care of those who suffer. Because there are times that are coming, that are times of change. And as by Chinese astrology, you are moving into the year of the Earth Rat. Well, this is very important to know after the years of fire, we had uh, a lot of volcanic activities, and of course,
because this year might be a year of uh, seeing more disasters of, of people dealing with water. But at the same time, if we all stand hand in hand, heart to heart, around the planet, and learn to respect and honor each other and keep corruption far from our door, we can celebrate good and spiritual living. And that's what it's all about. Let us not sell any longer apples for oranges. Well, you who have the Ethereum Travelers and the Magical Child, you will know, of course, that many, many years ago, I told all of you that this was a time that it would be coming, including, of course, as the same shop they said, that uh, that was about uh, last year, September, October, that this would be the year that you would have the major, major sightings from around the world. And not to be worried if they are one, two, three, four feet football field large, the spaceships that come in, and if they are two, three, four stories high, don't worry, these are the good ones. And uh, yeah, there are those that are not so good, but, but at the same time, right now, you are in a state of great excitement. And you know we wish, we wish for all people that governments were open and clear because that's what they were elected for about the things that are taking place and all that that they know of. But sometimes, you know, it is a game of power that is being played. You of course look again to these from the Air Force and you need to look to the air traffic controllers and go and ask all the pilots that are out there flying around in the sky and they will tell you there have been many sightings and I can share with you my own sightings. I can do that on uh, the sail shout and of course when I speak on the I in the future uh, radio I, I do talk about these things extensively to reach out to all of you. And I say to you, I am much more concerned about an ice age than global warming in the future. Because so many, many things are pointing to this polar shift. Well, that's maybe why the UFOs are coming. Yes, I want you to be in the know, I want you to be wise, and pass with great love and kindness to one another, I wish you great spiritual celebration. You are all beautiful, wonderful beings out there. But the UFOs, yes, 